working together with us. So I had a falling out with my partner and she basically fired me and she removed me from all my positions on the board. So she wanted me out. The problem was when I was looking for you guys, although I was employed by that company, I was only paying myself a salary of 35 grand. It was nothing. I was paying money into the company. I was floating a lot of the bills personally on top of that. And I I just got to the point where I said, I'm not doing it, guys. I'm not going to do this anymore. So we had a real tough falling out. And hopefully she makes a lot of money and my value is worth something there. You basically went from, hey, I'm owning a business, right? Mm -hmm. And then back to, I think I want to do corporate America now. Yeah, some mm-hmm. version of it. I decided that I wanted to actually use my value and be paid for. For a good solid two years, I had barely made any money. All I did was spend, 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 and it was I was bleeding. I still run a small investment company that mm-hmm. uh, I have a bunch of partners in, and that's going to be worth money at some point, but it's not today. Before that, though, you were vice president, corporate real estate, CBRE, one of the largest companies oh. in the world, principal here, SVP there, like for 20 years. Yeah, lots and lots of big roles. And it was great. It was great. And there was always money. But then I got really headlong into a lot of the the just pure entrepreneurial stuff, Mm -hmm. which sometimes works and sometimes does not. So um, I went for a two year span, especially during COVID, where it was all outflow. And it just I got to a point and said, I can't do it anymore. It's extremely tough, you know, especially when you're feeling that way. They take a job, they think it's going to be great, and maybe it's below them, but they say, hey, if you do well, we're going to promote you. And two years Mm -hmm. later, they don't like their boss. What made you decide to get help like this time and partner with us? You know, was it something different? Was it your mindset really? Or because surely you've got other roles at predominant companies. I had gotten myself to a point where I firmly believed that I was unhirable, that the only type of role that I could look at in life was something that I created myself. I had to go create my own business. I had to go take some 100% commission role. I had to do something where it was all on Jason in order to make any money. Mm-hmm. And I convinced myself of that because of just the journey that I've been through. If I'm going to go make money, I'm going to have to bust my tail and I take all the risk. When you get to spiraling and feeling some way about yourself, it's so difficult to pull yourself out of that. Most people know, even if you don't know how to work out, running's probably good for you. Riding a bike's probably good for you. If you eat green foods and if you do that over time, you'll feel better. But a lot of people just struggle with that all the time. They just need someone to push them a little bit. What did you find most valuable about working together? Because a lot of the things that you're saying is some mental barriers, which fortunately we talk about mindset a lot. And it's those overcoming objections because yours was you've been an entrepreneur, but surely everybody gets objections in the interview, right? Hey, you worked at your company for 20 years. You had a couple short stints. You're switching. It's always going to be something. My interviews always go well. I don't know that I've ever had a bad interview. I connect with people. I do really well with that. The problem is the follow-up and the follow-on conversations are always like, we really like you, but we don't think that you're going to be able to fit into a corporate type of environment. So there was something that I was always broadcasting about Mm -hmm. me. There was something I was saying in the way that I was saying it. And so I knew that it was coming from me. So the value that you guys created for me right out of the gates, I even have it up on my wall. I keep it up here. It was the, the whole piece about worth, my worth. I had a lot of conversations about, you know, my worth as a human being and as a professional, but also financial. What is my worth? I really started zeroing in on what was important to me as a human being and what I want to do for the world. And I realized that I was missing a key piece. So my other mantra, impact, everybody wins. So I wrapped all that together and I stopped being afraid of what people were going to think of me. And I just said, this is what it is. The key was that recognition only came from the time that I spent with your team up front. From there, I tweaked my resume a little bit. Once I got that established, it changed the way that I approached interviews. It changed everything. Thing. And the feedback was very different. I tell everyone when we do the intake session, like optimizing your resume is pretty easy. We got good writers, setting up automation, prepping you for interviews and stuff. That stuff's generally easy. Where most people struggle is just like you said, like, how do I get people to resonate with me? How do I show up with true confidence and conviction? I'm glad you got all of out of your own way, right? And realize yeah. your value. I could talk for an hour on the difference between price and worth because they're two drastically different things. Just knowing my value and knowing my worth upfront, it just changed the way that I react to people. 